Jamie, how is he still there at pick number six? Dude, I have no idea. Thanks, everybody, for watching the GG Sport Podcast, podcast of the Minnesota Vikings. We're in door heartbreak, but always bleed purple. Hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. Hit that bell, get notifications for more of our videos. Uh, in this mock draft here, we're going to start at pick six and kind of see how this one rolls out. What do you think, Casey? Oh, well, I know you're a big – I mean, so when did you say you think – is a safe pick to consider a receiver for your first pick? Would that be like if you're maybe near the bottom, depending on what's there? Yeah. I So I would just look at like the per players I'd pick before a receiver. I mean, uh, Cooper Cup would be interesting. At six, we don't have to worry about Cooper Cup probably. It would be kind of tough. I personally, I always like running backs um, earlier on just because there's not enough of them, especially right. future backs. So like Jonathan Taylor, Christian McCaffrey, Austin Eckler. Welcome to the best day of the year. Derek Henry, Draft day. Najee Harris I like. And then Delvin Cook. Like I think Delvin Cook is going to be a steal. So you think um, if he's there at six, would you take Delvin? Possibly. We'll have to decide on that. Depending we'll see on what who else gets taken there. at that point. Yeah. But then after that, I would honestly go – like I would – after that, I would go like, you know – especially Cooper Cup, Justin Jefferson's, possibly the Jamar Chases and stuff before, mm -hmm. Devontae Adams, Stephon Diggs, maybe even before you go the Joe Mixon, DeAndre Swift route. So I guess depending, depending on where this fifth guy goes, that'll kind of help us make our decision. Right. I mean, we, I mean, obviously we love Justin Jefferson and <laughs> he's a fifth rank guy, but, you know, we stick to our guns with the running back thing early. Yeah. Especially since we have we've done enough of these now, where we kind of have an idea of where, um, what the wide receivers look like kind of later in the draft, and it's pretty solid. Right. Well, the thing that scares me though is when you get a group and they start kind of making a run on you know a run on certain players in right. like certain positions, and then that causes people to overdraft. Right. So um, so right here, I mean, between Derrick Henry, Najee Harris, and Delvin Cook. Yeah, I mean, as we've said, Derrick Henry is like that workhorse back, always ends up with big yardage, big touchdown numbers. Not much of a receiver, but what else, you know, everything else he does is just fantastic. Yeah. And then Najee Harris, obviously second year, he's that feature guy for sure. They're going to be leaning on him even more this year. And Delvin Cook, I mean, as long Quint, as he's make healthy, he's always one of the top fantasy backs. But this year could even be better because of pass catching. Five Derrick. seconds, who are we going with? Grab Derrick Henry? Yeah, well... Yeah, we'll rock with Derrick Henry. Um, it is honestly, if this was really me in this situation, man, it would be hard just because I know mostly because I know the upside of Delvin Cook being right. a pass catcher this year. But I know uh, Derrick Henry was the number one fantasy player in the NFL before he got injured. I mean, that team relies on him so much. And without AJ Brown, they're just going to have to rely on him even more. To hopefully, they don't. I mean, he's a guy that doesn't matter how many people put they put in the box, but. That could be an issue for him this year, potentially. Yeah. So we'll see, though. I mean, you get Derrick Henry at that at pick six. That's, I'm, I'll take that chance for sure. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Back at pick nineteen, here's a little list of the players that've been picked. Ah, uh, did Swift just go? Yeah, Lenny. You hear about Leonard Fournette is dang tight. Ooh. So there's some choices here, but Ty, you see that Leonard mm. Fournette. It's like weighs like 260. Oof, I did see that. That's um, heavy for a back. So right here, man, I mean, uh, we've been doing the running back thing a lot, but I think Elvin Kamara could be such a massive steal right now. Yeah. Have they, is he going to be suspended? Have they said yet? That part we don't know. That is a good point. Man, He all his stuff was dropped, so I just don't see how he would Personal be. conduct, they still might. I mean, but we yeah, could go get Melvin Ingram. Sure. Quick, make your pick. Later on, get a Melvin Ingram just yeah. in case. Yeah. Let's grab him. That could be a massive steal. Could be. So we'll see. Sure. I wish we hopefully we find that out before the season actually starts. Yeah, let's hope so. All right. So what are we thinking here? I mean, if this was me in general, and this is we've since I mean, I, I'd like to try some new things. So like last time we went straight three running backs, first three picks. Uh, I think I personally would do it, especially right now with Nick, Nick Chubb, Chubb out there. Yeah. Because if you end up with like a Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb, and Alvin Kamara, bruh, you that's like potentially 
game or that's like potentially season winning with, right. with, the, with the upside of that. But oh well, you know what, man, everything I was saying is kind of ruined because I was thinking about going Travis Kelsey. Yeah, well, that's out of the way now, huh? <laughs> so I think honestly, I think I might have to keep going with Nick Chubb. So Travis Kelsey at this point is insane. I don't even know how Mark Andrews is above him. Right. I mean, he's at this point Mahomes' only target that he actually like know like like has yeah. a rapport with, you know. Um. Or so I so I think it'd be a, a massive steal there. But man, I think we gotta go Nick Chubb here. I mean, yeah. Only other player I would have liked there honestly would have been Jalen Waddle. And now that he's gone, I mean, AJ Brown's interesting, but who knows with, uh, yeah, with her Jalen hurts. So, and Nick Chubb's that guy. And, but, and the only reason he's rated so low is because he's got, uh, Cream Cream Hunt. Hunt behind him, but it normally doesn't hurt him that bad. No, he usually, they run the does. ball, especially with no Deshaun Watson. They're going to be using him a lot and hunt a lot. Like probably so like more than any year. So I pick Nick Chubb. That's a stacked one, two, three running yeah. back. And if something does happen with Kamara, you got Nick Chubb to take his spot as your second running back. Yes. And on, another guy would have been Zeke potentially. Like that's so. I don't care. Like I know they both have players behind them, but you're talking about guys, especially Zeke, who's been a first rounder every year yeah. of his career. And I think they said he slimmed down a little bit too. Yeah. So honestly, I could have went Zeke there instead of Nick Chubb. But what are we thinking here? We could go for a Josh Allen. We haven't. Yeah. Ever, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. You gotta uh, stop so, doing that. I know. We're kind of often um, the same predicament we were in last time. Yeah. I like That's what's there's like a weird, there's a weird spot at wide receivers. It's like we got like a lot of wide receivers that have obviously Number like some one cusp good potential. potentials. Yeah, but they're not like quite there. And then there's like right. a second round right below here that you're seeing about like not much different in talent. Kind of. Mm -hmm. but obviously we need a wide receiver yeah or we could quick go make your pick Addy, but quarterback um we go do we go dk again i know we did last time but got five seconds yeah i think he's the most talented yeah out of any sure. of those guys but obviously there's a mess well i think we got mike will no we did get dk good thought we were on auto draft there for a second but yeah no i mean we'll see what he does with where they got Drew Locke over there this year. I don't know. Yeah. But he's going to be the number one guy, so. Yep. I mean, I know some people are a little worried about him, but, I mean, the guy's an athletic beast, and Locke does have an arm. He yeah. doesn't have the most accurate, but he just throws it up to him, and hopefully. And maybe, who knows, he might get traded before the season starts, too. You never know. I do How think. How do you feel about Cortland Sutton now with. Uh, I do think Cortland Sutton could, this could be his best year and he had a over a thousand yard yeah I, mean, I don't see why not i mean that's right. the best quarterback he's played with by far he could be worth a chance on at this point um and say with jerry judy but there's an obviously tyler lockett and dk have both eaten with a guy like russell wilson right. so i do like that um he's safe compared to a lot of these i feel right. like too potentially yeah. i do i really like elijah we have a quick make your pick backs at this point but I really do like Elijah. He had such a good season last right. year as a rookie. We'll go with Sutton. Yeah, I would say let's grab Sutton. But I mean, Elijah gives, Mitchell at this, two, you know, it gives you a like a low level one DK Metcalf starting receiver, and then mm -hmm. a Sutton who's probably going to be a one B in that offense because Judy hasn't yeah. really shown us anything yet. And still, so, when we were talking about D DK just a year ago, people thought DK was going to be the next like big wide receiver. He kind of mm -hmm. and he started hot and then it kind of slowed down and stuff and now people are um are just aren't as big on him anymore and I don't think like I think he could make people eat their words on that honestly. Yeah, I could see it. He could he still has potential to be a star wide receiver. That's Man, do we pick Adam Thielen last time? I I don't know if it was last time or the time before. It might have been last time. Otherwise, I mean Tony Pollard, that's kind of early. I mean, I Miles get it. But... Sanders is kind of he didn't do that great last year, but um, but man, at this point in the draft, Miles Sanders could be worth it at this point. Yeah, he um, doesn't excite me, but Devin Singletary. See, I'm not convinced by Devin Singletary yet. Yeah, I take a shot at a Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas, you, you I mean, you're talking him. about a guy who's been number one. Yeah, been quick, make one. your pick. And we do have the boy Adam Thielen. What do you think? I, let's let's try Michael Thomas. 
We'll give him a chance. I mean, he could be a massive steal. If he's oh, anything yeah. what he used to be, he'd be he'd easily be worth a pick there. Yeah, man, as long as he can still catch those slant passes, we're good. And we are back. So ah, what do you think? Kyler Murray just got taken. I was looking at Kyler Murray hard on that one. Dang, we were gonna get Kyler Murray. And he was oh. taken. So now we're at a spot. So we I mean, we're looking good on run or wide receiver. Um you know, we do have a bunch of quarterbacks, but, I mean, Russell Wilson could have himself a season. Yeah, he's got a lot I of mean, talent there. Yeah, there's Tom so Brady, many, he doesn't get you the rushing yards, but he's showing no signs of slowing. Yeah, he doesn't show Quick, any signs Quick, make your slowing. pick. Aaron Rodgers is alive. Let's go quarterback. Cool. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers doesn't have any talent. <laughs> Who do you think? Russell Wilson or Tom Brady? Let's go, let's go with the old guy. Tom Brady. The GOAT. I've had Tom Brady the, the last two years in my other league, and he's been yeah, solid for me. He's never oh, been yeah. the problem. Dude, last year he was, he was insane last year. It was like his best year. They won't have a Gronk, We're not but... a touchdown standpoint, but. Yeah, he's like, he's a safe pick, high upside. Russell Wilson, though, I think he could be too. Yeah. I mean, he's dealing with a lot of good players on that offense. Yeah. Jalen Hurts is a guy with a lot of potential if he can. Yeah. I but... just. I can't trust. He's so good for fan. He was like the. I think it was he number one last year for fantasy quarterback. He's up there. It's just his running is insane. It's just I can't trust his throwing enough. You know. It's just, yeah. I don't know. But man, he he's someone that like a lot of people are skeptical about, and then whoever picks him is rewarded. A lot of wide receivers left on the board. Is, see, this is what we we're saying. Like, look at yeah. the talent at wide receiver. Right. I mean, it's, a lot of it's unknown draft. talent, kind right. of, but it's still. It's, yeah, still has huge upside. Um, you know, Elijah Moore had a couple big games last year. DeAndre Hopkins, man, when he gets back from that suspension. Oh, yeah, that'd be a steal and a half. Traylon Burke should be the number one. I mean, we don't know. It depends on how good he is. He's going to have the best chance to be the number one guy. Yeah. Chris Besides Olave's that. question. I mean, obviously having a Michael Thomas. Well, Olave Russell, Gage without, Russell Gage without Godwin could be insane. Quick, make your pick. Chris Olave. We already have Michael Thomas, like you said. I kind of like Trey Burks. Traylon Burks? Yeah. Let's do it. I mean, you have to take a chance in fantasy. One of these, some of these wide receivers are going to break and out. These are one of the best be wide the top, receivers. He's probably going to be the top guy, like you said. So, And we liked him a lot. Yeah. Going into the draft. What do we call him? number two wide sneaky, receiver. Sneaky speed, right? Yep. Sneaky he looked speed. big and slow, but yet he was running by defenders. Yeah, and he didn't have the best forty, but it looked like like it looked like he was doing fine out there. Didn't look yeah, like I don't he, think his... he's not going to be a Laquan Treadwell at the very least. No, or Laquan. No. That was the thought with him is he's faster on field than he shows at his forty, but he just yeah never had it. A lot of people think Stevenson also is going to step up over Damian yeah. Harris, but but you always worry about those Patriots running backs, you know? Right. So the guy we... steps the wrong way in the in the hallways, and Bill Belichick doesn't let him see the field again for the rest of his life. Should we rock? Rock Rashad Penny? I say so. I like Rashad Penny. He had a big end of the year last year. Let's do it. Yep. All right. Sorry, there were some technical difficulties I had, so we probably did. Hey, we auto drafted Irv Smith. Hey, just like we wanted. Let's go. We got to do some auto drafts. Still got Irv, got back right defense? before our pick. Harrison Butker? Well, okay. Um, what else we got? Butker, that's a good kick. All right, James Cook, we got him. We got double kicker. You, if you watch the league, you know it's super important to have two, at least two kickers on your roster. Did did we get to draft James Cook before it cut out? Yeah, we quick did. make your so pick. We got him, and now we oh, got these wrong. guys up. So Jalen Tolbert, Patrick, DJ Tim Chark, Patrick, DJ Chark, DJ Chark, DJ Chark. We do like him at this point. Um, so yeah, you know we got two kickers exactly what we wanted. Taco would love it. Oh, that's crazy, man. So what do you think? Jarek Should we McKinnon. get Jarek McKinnon? Now we're just yeah. smashing them running backs, baby. Let's yeah. go. All right. All right. Our final. All in all, you know, started the draft normally. A few technical difficulties, two kickers. But at the end of the day, <laughs> not that bad. Yeah. I mean, Tom Brady is our quarterback. Our running backs, Derrick Henry, Alvin Kamara, Nick Chubb. Then we got some Then we got some. Uh, some potential in Rashad Penny, James Cook. And even Jarek McKinnon, our running backs, is looking great. Wide receivers, we went running back early, but we still got DK, Sutton, Traylon Burks, Michael Thomas, if he can be what he used to be or even close to it, that's huge. Um, Irv Smith, we got on the auto draft, but we would have picked him anyways. 
two kickers, most important part of our team. I think we did good. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, just looking through one more time here. All in all, you know, start again, start out with three running backs. I'm okay with it. You know? Yeah. Worked pretty, pretty well. I will, I, I would take that in a normal draft. So, yeah. I like yeah. it. I like it. If you guys liked it, make sure to hit the like button mm -hmm. for us. Comment your thoughts on this draft. Let us know what you would have done differently. Let us know your thought of the auto picks when the stream, when the recording went out. Let us know all that stuff. If you want to check out some of our other mock drafts, we'll post those right up here for you guys. Most importantly, though, hit the subscribe button halfway, over halfway to 1,000 subs, and we'll see you guys next time on the GG Sports Podcast. School of Vikes.